Bioelectrical impedance analysis is a commonly used method for estimating body composition, and in particular body fat. Since the advent of the first commercially available devices in the mid 1980s, the method has become popular owing to its ease of use, portability of the equipment. It is familiar in the consumer market as a simple instrument for estimating body fat. BIA actually determines the electrical impedance, or opposition to the flow of an electric current through body tissues which can then be used to estimate total body water which can be used to estimate fat-free body mass and, by difference with body weight, body fat. Accuracy <inaudible> 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 Many of the early research studies showed that beer was quite variable and it was not regarded by many as providing an accurate measure of body composition. In recent years technological improvements have made beer a more reliable and therefore more acceptable way of measuring body composition. Nevertheless, it is not a «gold standard» or reference method. Although the instruments are straightforward to use, careful attention to the method of use as described by the manufacturer should be given. Simple devices to estimate body fat, often using beer, are available to consumers as body fat meters. These instruments are generally regarded as being less accurate than those used clinically or in nutritional and medical practice. They tend to under red body fat percentage. Dehydration is a recognized factor affecting beer measurements as it causes an increase in the body's electrical resistance, so has been measured to cause a 5 kg underestimation of fat free mass, i.e., an overestimation of body fat. Body fat measurements are lower when measurements are taken shortly after consumption of a meal, causing a variation between highest and lowest readings of body fat percentage taken throughout the day of up to 4.2% of body fat. Moderate exercise before beer measurements lead to an overestimation of fat-free mass and an underestimation of body fat percentage due to reduced impedance. For example, moderate intensity exercise for 90 to 120 minutes before beer measurements causes nearly a 12 kg overestimation of fat-free mass, i.e. body fat is significantly underestimated. Therefore, it is recommended not to perform beer for several hours after moderate or high intensity exercise. Beer is considered reasonably accurate for measuring groups, or for tracking body composition in an individual over a period of time, but is not considered sufficiently precise for recording of single measurements of individuals. Consumer grade devices for measuring beer have not been found to be sufficiently accurate for single measurement use, and are better suited for use to measure changes in body composition over time for individuals. Two electrode foot-to-foot -foot measurement is less accurate than four electrode feet, hands, and eight electrode measurement. Results for some four and eight electrode instruments tested found poor limits of agreement and in some cases systematic bias in estimation of visceral fat percentage, but good accuracy in the prediction of resting energy expenditure when compared with more accurate whole body magnetic resonance imaging and dual energy X-ray absorptiometry .The use of multiple frequencies in specific BIA devices that utilize eight electrodes has been found to have a 94% correlation method with DXA when measuring body fat percentage if strict guidelines are adhered to. Historical background Electrical properties of tissues have been described since 1872. These properties were further described for a wider range of frequencies on a larger range of tissues, including those that were damaged or undergoing change after death. In 1962, Thomasit conducted the original studies using electrical impedance measurements as an index of total body water (TBW) using two subcutaneously inserted needles. In 1969, Hoffer concluded that a whole body impedance measurements could predict total body water. The equation the squared value of height divided by impedance measurements of the right half of the body showed a correlation coefficient of 0.92 with total body water. 
This equation Hofer proved is known as the impedance index used in beer. In 1983, Nyoba validated the use of whole body electrical impedance to assess body composition. By the 1970s, the foundations of beer were established, including those that underpinned the relationships between the impedance and the body water content of the body. A variety of single frequency beer analyzers then became commercially available, such as RJL Systems and its first commercialized impedance meter. In the 1980, Lukaski, Siegel, and other researchers discovered that the use of a single frequency 50 kHz in beer assumed the human body to be a single cylinder, which created many technical limitations in beer. The use of a single frequency was inaccurate for populations that did not have the standard body type. To improve the accuracy of beer, researchers created empirical equations using empirical data gender, age, ethnicity, to predict a user's body composition. In 1986, Lukaski published empirical equations using the impedance index, body weight, and reactants. In 1986, Kushner and Scholler published empirical equations using the impedance index, body weight, and gender. However, empirical equations were only useful in predicting the average population's body composition and was inaccurate for medical purposes for populations with diseases. In 1992, Kushner proposed the use of multiple frequencies to increase the accuracy of beer devices to measure the human body as five different cylinders right arm, left arm, torso, right leg, left leg instead of one. The use of multiple frequencies would also distinguish intracellular and extracellular water. By the 1990s, the market included several multi frequency analyzers. The use of beer as a bedside method has increased because the equipment is portable and safe, the procedure is simple and non-invasive, and the results are reproducible and rapidly obtained. More recently, segmental beer has been developed to overcome inconsistencies between resistance and body mass of the trunk. In 1996, an eight-polar beer device that did not utilize empirical equations was created and was found to offer accurate estimates of TBW and ECW in women without the need of population-specific formulas. <laughs> <laughs> Measurement configuration The impedance of cellular tissue can be modeled as a resistor representing the extracellular path in parallel with a resistor and capacitor in series representing the intracellular path. This results in a change in impedance versus the frequency used in the measurement. The impedance measurement is generally measured from the wrist to the contralateral ankle and uses either two or four electrodes. A small current on the order of 1 to 10 microamperes is passed between two electrodes, and the voltage is measured between the same for a two-electrode configuration or between the other two electrodes. Topic. See also. Body fat percentage. Impedance spectroscopy. Electrical impedance tomography